Oh, hi. I am Thomas Chevin. I am a professor of liver transplant surgery and founder of South Asian Liver Institute. On Liver Day, I thought I should explain what is it that we are into? What are we trying to do? I think the one key philosophy or ethos of South Asian Liver Institute is to try and harness the true, truly amazing regenerative capacity of the liver. It's got a higher and better ability to regenerate than almost any other organ in the body. And the point is, if we carefully and wisely use this, many liver diseases can be brought back from almost reaching symptomatic stage to being normal. I'll give you an example. Fatty liver disease. So fatty liver disease goes through stage 1, 2, 3. Then it goes into fibrosis. Then it goes into cirrhosis. A process that takes anywhere between 3 to maybe even 10 years. So if for example, we at South Asian Liver Institute is able to detect it somewhere, let us say stage 2 fibrosis. And if we are able to, with simple medications and simple lifestyle changes, able to bring that liver back to being a normal liver, we have saved one person from a liver transplant. That, like I said to you, harnessing the regenerative capacity of the liver is the key ethos of South Asian Liver Institute. In order to do this well or correctly, what we have done is we have designed something called LICAP, which is liver care program that allows people to monitor what stage they are at or really maybe find what stage they are at and then sequentially monitor their progress or digress as the years go by using simple charting of fat content, ultrasound findings, enzyme levels of the liver and bringing it all together with friendly advice that is manageable. For example, telling somebody, oh, you cannot drink at all may not be appropriate. If he's having a glass of wine or a pitcher of beer on a weekend, it might not be uh, harmful or too harmful to the liver. But on the other hand, somebody is going overboard. We need to say, look, your liver enzymes are going up. This is a suggestion that your liver is not coping with the amount of alcohol you're drinking. Please cut it down. So this, I think, in short, summarizes the, the thinking behind creating an institute dedicated for patients with liver disease. I hope it makes a difference.